All right, so as I said before, we have a console that log, right? Now this that something we learn how to do this on our own when you did player that name. Okay? The thing is that our player that name or our player that points didn't have this thing right here, like this. It didn't have this. Okay? This is because our player that points is not a function. Our player that points is a number. All right, so we need to learn how to create functions before we give our player a function, okay? So what is a function? A function is a piece of code that you can execute over and over and over and over again, okay? Remember, programmers, we are lazy, all right? We don't want to write code. Really, we don't. We want to write as little code as possible. For this reason, what we're going to do is let's say an example, a function that will say hello to any name that we give, okay? So in the case of the word without a function, this is how this will look. What we will have to do will be to do something like console log, right? And it will say, hello, my name is Nico, all right? And then if I really want to say hello to all my friends, I say here I will say hello, my name is Dal. Here I will say hello, my name is Shigatsu. And then here I will say hello, my name is Flynn. And here I will have to say hello, my like look at that. This is not really good. The reason why is because I'm console logging and I'm copy pasting so much. Okay? And if you think about it, the only part that is changing of this whole code is only this last name. All right? I'm only changing literally these three things. The rest of the code, all these letters, this, all that, I'm duplicating this code. Okay, so that's not really good code. Like, there has to be something better than this, all right? But at least now we know our goal. We want to be able to say hello to our friends, all right? And we want to duplicate as little code as possible. We don't want to be writing console.log, hello, my name is, and then just copy paste that as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a function. What a function will do is a function will encap encapsulate some code that we can just press play over and over again. Imagine like a song, okay? A song or a video, imagine like that. You can watch a video over and over and over and over and over again. It finishes and you can press play again. It finishes and you can press play again. The same thing with a function, okay? So how do we create a function? All we have to do is literally write the word function, okay? Now here we're gonna get creative and we can add any name that we want. In my case, I will do say hello, like this. Now, just like, for example, when we create a constant, we have to write const like this, all right? Just like when we write a string, we kind of need to do this. Just like when we want to write a list or an array, we have to do this, okay? There are some rules to make a function. In our case, functions need to have this. Now don't worry, these bad boys are going to be game changers later, all right? And then the function has to have the block of the code that is going to execute. This is it, okay? So whatever we do here, okay? Whatever we write here is going to happen every time I press play on this function, okay? So whatever you write in this block inside of these curly braces, that is going to happen every time I press play, okay? Now, we don't know how to press play on the function yet, but what we know is that whatever I write here is gonna happen over and over and over and over and over again, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say console.log and I'm gonna say hello. So now every time I press play on this say hello, this is what's gonna happen, console.log hello. Now, how do we press play? If you remember, we are doing console log and we add these two things right here. All right, the same way that we did array push, as you can see, we add these two things right here, okay? The same we did alert and something, as you can see, we add these two things right here. So these two things, these parentheses is how we press play on the function. All right, so let's press play three times. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do this, this, this. Apparently I cannot count, so four times, okay? Let's refresh and see if it works. There we go. 
So what happened? We pressed play on the function four times. And as I told you, the code inside of these brackets was executed every time we pressed play. How cool is that? Okay, now I know so far right now, this looks a little bit stupid because this function is doing the same thing. This function has the same output over and over and over again. Now we can change this. Okay, actually what I want is I want to be able to say, hello, my name is, and then I want to say, for example, name A, B, or C, okay? So for this, we have to send something called an argument. An argument is how, while you are pressing play on the function, you can also send some information to that function, okay? Now, as you can see, we already done that before. We are doing alert, but we are not doing alert like this, right? We are sending some information to that function. Now, look at what happens if I do alert and I don't send anything. As you can see now, I'm super proud of us. We now look the same as JavaScript. Look at that, alert, parentheses, say hello, the same thing. All right, so let me save this, I will refresh. And now as you can see, I have an empty alert. This page says nothing, okay? Now that's boring. The same thing, let's say, with console.log. If I do console, that log, I just press play, right? As we can see, we're just pressing play here, we're pressing play here, we're pressing play here, right? But if I press play and I don't send anything, as you can see, this console log didn't happen. Only hello, my name is C happened. So now let's do it better this way. Refresh. As you can see, there is nothing, literally nothing. Because as well, I am pressing play on the function, but we are not sending anything. So now it's time to learn how to press play on the function and send something. Now we know how to do this from the outside because we know how to send information to that log. We know that we have to put it here, right? So we know how that would look like with our function. With our function that will look the same way. We say, hello, Nico, like that. Okay, but what we don't know is how to express this when we are creating the function. Again, we are already used to pressing play on functions while sending them data. We know how to press play and we know how to send data at the same time, all right? This is what we just did here with our function. We pressed play because we did parentheses like this, but now also we are sending data. Again, we don't know how we're going to express to this function that this function should take the data and put it here because our goal is to replace the Z with Nico, okay? Our goal is to replace the Nico with Dal, for example. Our goal is to replace the C with Lin. Ideally, I would like to have, hello, my name is Nico. Hello, my name is Dal. Hello, my name is Lin, okay? Now, if I refresh here, as you can see, I'm pressing play three times, that's true and I'm sending that data, but as you can see, I'm not doing anything with that data, okay? That will be for the next video. Bye-bye.